So I've been focusing on these rocks in the foreground here to make my uh, leading up to the uh, illuminated fell of Silver Howe opposite. And it seems to be working pretty well. And as, as I've studied, the sun is obviously is rising all the time and it's now illuminating um, Allen Bank, which is Wordsworth Old House over in Grasmere there and the side of Helm Crag. So I'm going to see if I can compose this scene with the rocks on a diagonal to give me um, to give me a more more chance of capturing that light. I love how uh, the light on the side of the fells of it bring the low light just brings out the texture and the contours of that. It's uh, fantastic. Anyway, here we go. It's a shame the uh, the branches are there. I might just see if I can if I move around. I won't be able to use these rocks, and you can see the sun lighting up on the church spire there as well, or the church roof. What a beautiful scene. I'll tell you what, that might work actually if I if I'm a lot lower because then I can get those branches. I can get those branches above the fells then and that would work better I think. So let Yeah, I'm not sure, but we can we can make it. There's no harm in doing that. Right, turn my polarizer. Make sure we've got that. Twenty seconds. Let's see how that comes out. Oh, it's beautiful. What time is it now? So it's quarter to nine. So remember this. For another day. There we go. Okay. Let's go for that 10 seconds, see how that's going to look. I'm trying to arrange the rocks the best I can. Use the uh, polarizer to try and cut through the water a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. It looks okay. Maybe try and recompose it so I get a few more of these leaves in the foreground. In fact, I can. Probably better doing that by moving back a little bit. Cut those branches off in the top right corner. Which is difficult if you still want to get those rocks in. So I need to move again. And there we go, and we just get the top of silver howing. Right, let's have a look, see how that comes out. Such a fast paced thing when the sun's constantly changing. Oh, needs a lot longer for the water I think. Let's 32 seconds. Let's see what that's gonna come out like. In the meantime I can make a quick snap with my phone. There you go, it's probably going to be the best photo of the day. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the water's a lot better. Good, I'm sure I can make something of that. Yeah. Okay, am I still recording? Yep, don't know what's happened with that then. 
Okay, so what I might do now is I might just, might see if I can maybe move round the shore somewhere. That looks absolutely fantastic there. The, uh, quick iPhone shot. Yeah, so I've had a lot of success here with images over the years and I've, I have um, it's my book, Capture Lake from Volume 2, features a lot of images from here, all this woodland around the side of Grasmere. I'll show you, case you a few of those images now, and if I haven't done already, and we can see how they look. And what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to move on up through the woodland. What I, My whole reason of coming here today was to try and get the, obviously it's autumn now so that and there's a lot of beech trees in this woodland so they seem to turn first and a lot of them are gold and yellow at the minute and I was hoping to wait sufficiently for the sun to rise to shine through um, the trees and the branches and illuminate that, that um, those beech leaves so I'm going to go and look there's a little hill just on the side or an elevated section I've had some uh, success there before so I might have a quick look there uh, this was a bit of a distraction, but who wouldn't stop and photograph that? 